So for this one, the tutorial mostly works, but I want to kind of explain what's going on. And I think there might be one little spot that might be confusing. So let's go ahead and start this picture. So looking at this photo, it's not properly exposed. Now, when I say properly exposed, that it actually got the purest blacks, the purest lights, and then the correct midtones. It's got a kind of a little bit of a washed out type look, it, which means it doesn't really have really pure of light color or pure darks. So what we're going to do is we're going to make an adjustment layer here. We're going to choose levels. Again, this is a histogram. So we've looked at these before when we did the curves adjustment. And when we're looking at this particular image, what this is telling me again, is not about black and white. It's about the darkest versions of the colors, the mid-tone versions of the color, and then the lightest versions of the color. So within this histogram, I'm noticing there's a big gap in these dark areas right here, and there's a big gap in these light areas right here. So the actual colors don't start until they get to the, this little part where it starts to kind of get a little bit taller. So just by those alone, I can already tell looking at the histogram, if I were to just drag that to where the, it starts, to rise and there where it starts to rise. And then here I can kind of play around with potentially even making this a little bit darker. Just doing that adjustment alone already takes the photo from being kind of washed out without much dynamic range. Again, dynamic range is how much of a range is there between the lightest pixels and the darkest pixels. That looks much more rich. So that's essentially what we're going to do, but we're going to also make some adjustment to this output because we have these sliders, but then we also have these to work with. And by using these a little bit, in fact, whoops, let me go back and I'll show you. And then we'll bust through this really quick. So by adjusting these, I can say, you know what, actually make all of the darks just a little bit lighter and make all of the lights just a little bit darker. And what that does is that finishes off the overall effect. So with that being said, I'm going to hit restart so that you can go through and see the spot that I think people might run into a little bit of a problem. This beginning part's not bad. We're just going to go straight here. We're going to go to levels and it's explaining what I've just explained by going here. It wants to make sure that you have that one selected and you're clicking next. And then we're coming up here and it's saying in here, there are three sliders directly under the graph, which represent the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. When I click on next, it's saying drag the shadow to about 42, but you're not gonna ever get numbers exactly like that. You're really gonna just kind of experiment on your own photos at some point. So I usually recommend drag it to about where the histogram starts to actually appear with the white there. Then we're going to hit next and it's asking you to take this one and drag this back over to about 215. That's really right about where that thing starts. And then it wants you to move the gray a little bit more here. So it adds a little bit more darkness. So it's saying everything to the left of that is now going to be a little bit darker. And I can click on next, click on next again. And now this is the part where it's pointing. This is where I think people will get confused because it says drag the black output slider. That's this down here. This is the output slider. That's the histogram. So from this point, you're going to take this one and just kind of drag this in just a little bit. So as I start to drag this, you'll notice the output levels here will change. So I'm just going to put that to four because that's what they want. And then I'm going to go to next. And on this one, I'm going to do 247. And so what that did is that just kind of darkened things up just a little bit and then you're finished. Again, one of the things I'd recommend doing, turn off the visibility and then turn it back on and really look at the difference that that made. A lot of it had to do with just moving the sliders over and then this was just a little final adjustment to tighten it up just a little more. Go ahead and save that and let's move on to the next one.